Hello everyone, this is Sean, and welcome back to episode number 7 of our Let's Try Production Line series. Production Line is an early alpha game. They actually just got another update today to alpha 1.03. Uh, but do keep in mind that this is early alpha, so unless you're watching it right as these videos come out, probably a lot of stuff has changed. This game has even... it's been out for one week, and we've already had three updates. Uh, and all of them make pretty good little improvements in the gameplay. I haven't had a chance to uh, try this third one out yet, but... From what I understand, one of the main improvements is the way that these stockpiles, that they're going to actually start working a little better than they were before. And that's good, because we were having having a few problems with them. Uh, but one thing I do want to do is I want to empty this stockpile out, uh, because I need to move it. Um, I want to get these on separate lines, like I had discussed at the end of the last video. But I can't do that with the two stockpiles adjacent to each other, because I have to have a line go into this square and I have to have a line go into this square uh, and it's because I set them up with their uh, inputs right next to each other. I could have set it up a little differently but I didn't. Um, another thing that I have noticed down here is that uh, I, I have the two heaters set up for our, um, our paint lines and you actually need three heaters to get that to, to run at uh, maximum efficiency unfortunately so I need to put a little break in our uh, production line here so we can get some of these cars through um, do we really do we want to try to work through the entire backlog before we because uh... I'm gonna redo I'll have to redo the whole paint area to get three cars in there and then after that we're gonna redo engines right we're gonna uh, redo the fit engine assembly and then we're going to redo fit wheel assembly so I suppose I could do if I um, if we tear this whole area out we could put the paint down in here and then do engines like up in here and then do wheels over in here and then you know we probably should just eliminate everything from the from the exit like destroy all of it all the way back to here and uh, basically redo that whole section there so um, I do want to let everything run through there so we're gonna go ahead and cut that off there and then we're gonna let all those cars run through and then we're gonna do some major major rebuilds here to uh, to to just uh, like we're gonna we should be able to really increase our efficiency um, overall. So you know what? Just to to uh, allow additional flexibility, we're actually gonna pull that one out as well. Let's uh, let's slow our speed down here and see if there's any other. Like, I feel like these accessories are a bit of a backlog. Maybe we should improve that section. These things don't, they're not, you can't break those down. Fit accessories is 27 seconds. Yeah, that definitely seems like there's room for improvement. We have 15 seconds in the, f in, in the steering assembly, so we'll probably want to break that one down as well. These are only about six seconds each, so they're fine. We should be able to speed them up with robots. And uh, the rest of the stuff we've kind of already done. So let's go ahead and research fit accessories. Accessory specialization. That must be a subcategory. How am I missing it? I know it's at the end of the list. Maybe it's... No, no. All right, what am I missing here? Oh, duh, it's at the top of the list, though, right? Already researched. Oh, okay. Well, good. That'll make, uh, that'll make the next one, uh, you know, setting up the next thing easier. Uh, so what was the other one that I thought would be a good one to break down? The steering, steering specialization? I'm sure. Yeah, 14 seconds. So that would be the next one to break down. So that's good. So we'll get we'll get these vehicles through. It's going to take a while to, to clear all these vehicles through anyways. And um, 
then we can start just tearing shit up. So we're going to start tearing it up from the paint thing. So basically that means we'll start tearing it up all the way back here. But we don't need to take our new fit roof and if it basically the fit body stuff that we just built. We don't need to take any of that out. But we will follow this car here and uh, destruction will come in its wake. Boy, that is gonna, we're gonna remodel like half of our factory here. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's okay. That didn't make any difference. I had an un unexpected loop in there. Alright, so I put in a request today on the forums for ability to switch off. Like, just click, click off. I also asked for him to change the uh, that little pie chart there. Like, I love that, you know, you can see the running and waiting and stuff, but it changes it so, f so quickly. Maybe it does that per vehicle or something. I don't quite understand. Um, do we need to break that down? You know what? I want to start adding bonuses to my cars as opposed to uh, taking stuff away. So let's add a few more bonuses here, like windshield wipers. Probably, probably not a bad idea. There we go. All right. You're done. You're done. You guys are fired. You're all good. You don't have a car in there. These don't go over here anymore. You guys don't need to spread out over there at all. Maybe I should leave some room up here for, uh, for uh, stockpiles or something. You're all serviced by this one over here, right? Yeah. So I don't really need to worry about you. All right, great. Those are done. Delete, delete. All right, get rid of you. And you guys, you're all gone. I feel like I just built some of you too. Maybe not. Doesn't matter. We got lots of money. Look at that. We got like 2.2 million dollars. So it's not like uh, not like we can't afford to be doing what we're doing here. Um, automatic headlights. Sure. Seems like a smart thing to have on your cars. Almost got those QC'd out. Alright, good. Let's slow the thing down. I can't drag and delete. Uh huh. Click, 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 click. One more car in each little spot there. Get rid of that log jam. And get rid of most of that stuff. And get rid of you and all of you. So this would have caused some serious problems in the uh, old version. There was a thing where stuff would get hung up on um, on these import lines. Uh, I feel like we saw a little bit of that. We just didn't see any of the uh, major crashes that were reported from it. But that was causing some serious problems um, earlier on in the game. Um, so I think if I delete this one, I should still be able to keep that one, maybe. All right, good. So we've just destroyed almost the entirety of our line. Um, we have fit wing mirrors. And that is from fit body, right? Fit doors. And fit doors is broke down to fit wing mirrors. Great. All right. So now we're going to go with the paint. And a paint. So if we're going to run a second line, we would run it through here. And then I guess we probably would want to rearrange. 
Do I have enough room for all those units to get through there? Looks like I do, actually. I'd have to start a little further back here. So let's leave, let's leave some room for that, maybe for some stockpiles down in here. We can have the paint go down. Yeah, I think over here would be fine. So if we do paint under coat, like, actually, we don't even really need to have that. We can do the curve after we paint it. So we'll paint it, and then we'll put the dry under coats. Now, we're going to need to have three of these. Because that's just the correct, uh, the correct ratio. And then we'll drop back into this one. But you know what? Let's leave... Uh, Well, we have room for stockpiles and stuff right there, so let's go ahead and put that like right there. Should be fine. And then we will dry finish. Can we get three of those in there? There's one, two, three. Beautiful. All right, so we'll hook those conveyors up like that, and then you're gonna go out and then down like that and then you'll go over to here and like that and then you'll go over to here and like that and then hopefully that will have you guys split up properly this is going to be a little tricky but i guess it's not too tricky there we go that should combine everybody back into one and then you should break out here like that maybe like this be fun to see how well that works out and I think these three can combine into two so how are we going to go about doing that if we have these ones go like that and I'm thinking of having this one go like that and then like that, maybe? Now, I, I, I know this isn't quite going to balance out correctly, uh, but I think that that's going to work out all right. And let's go ahead and set up those resources before we, uh, before we go to the next thing. Now, this is just paint, and the paint resources come uh, fast and easy, so we won't really... Um, we'll attach it to this one, which is already servicing all this stuff down here, but it can, it can get paint in there pretty easy without causing any problems. So that should uh, get all of our painting done. Um, next up is the engine, and this is the one that we really wanted to be able to break down. That one, great. And the wheel assembly is gonna break down, and the steering assembly is gonna break down. So uh, does this one break down too? No. Okay, good. All right, so we have fit flywheel, and we're gonna want this one up here. So do we want to bring it... What is this bringing resources down for? Just those two things? Three things? So you know what? You could take care of the engine stuff. So it's going to be a long, uh, a long route over here, but on the other hand, why not? Um, so we'll have the engine stuff over here. So we'll just do one there. Basically, we're just going to run parallel. So I don't really need to set up all three of them. Was that the flywheel? Is that flywheel? Split fit starter motor. I don't know if I need extra spaces in there. But you know what? Why not? doesn't hurt anything. Fit valves. And um, radiator and exhaust. Like I've already clicked on those, so I don't need to keep doing that over and over again there and there and then uh, wheel assembly I guess we probably wanted that one more over towards there didn't we um, uh, so let's see uh, we're gonna have one two three right there one, two, three. okay good so that'll work out just fine let's now uh, we'll just start at the start with this one fit wheels 
Is that lined up? That looks like it's lined up. Fit tires. Fit brakes. And what does that do? Make steering wheel. Interesting, but we can't make the steering column. Fit steering column. And fit steering wheel. All right, so that's all good there. Uh, research automatic headlights, cool. I don't really want to worry about more specialization at this point. We just put in a bunch of specializations. S mm, powered steering, sure. Powered steering will do. Great, close that down. And let's do the conveyor. So we are going to have this one go like this. And you're just going to run parallel along there and up through there. And then over like that and like that. Very good. And then you'll go like that and continue on like that. And then through there and up like that. And I guess I should do the um, sister, the matching ones for this. So fit flywheel, and there we go. Starter motor, I guess I don't really need to do that. Right there, valves, radiator, exhaust. Wheels, tires, brakes, Steering column, steering wheel, all right. And conveyor, I guess we'll go back to here. And uh, you're gonna go out, and then you're gonna go up, and you'll go over, and you'll go up, and over, and up. And then you're gonna go up, and you. There we go, cool. You'll go uh, there, and there, and down. Down. Keep going down further. A little more. And over here it's going to be the same thing. Up and over and down. I do like the way you can run lines parallel to each other like that. I mean, I guess I shouldn't be too so impressed by it, but I'm just glad it doesn't automatically try to, to gather them together or anything like that. So there's how that one goes. Um, I want to leave the opportunity, I guess, for a second export. Actually, we probably may as well go ahead and set up the second export line at this point because we'll be able to get things going faster over time. Tron is great. And so uh, what we have left is fit accessories. And um, maybe we should go. So we need a spot for fit AC. I don't quite know how that's going to end up looking. Um, but we have fit windshield. You know, let's just continue with the um, continue with the parallel pathing here. So we do windshield. Yeah, that's gonna work out. Um, I don't know why I'm doing it backwards though. Dumb. It's too bad. Fit lights. Does that break down? No. Okay. So fit lights. Fit horn. Wow, this is really taking uh, like the entire episode. We aren't even really going to get to see what happens <laughs> by the time I get this thing done. Uh, I may let it run until we can get uh, some cars running along this line. All right, and then up here we have fit electronics. Great, so I don't need to worry about those things. So let's go back to the conveyor, and we'll run you down like that, and then over there, down. And you will go like that, and over, down, and then you'll go down, and down, and down, and there, two, three, and then you'll come out here, and like that, and then up to there, and then to there, and then I suppose eventually we could uh, also potentially have some crossovers to try to balance these out, but it looks like that matches... Uh, gets everything, so we just need to get those conveyors set up. Now, I think I'm going to go ahead and throw these ones onto that line. 
and then I'm going to, so we have a stockpile there. No, that's not a stockpile. And then I'm going to go ahead and delete, delete this so it's not necessarily connected up there. So much deleting. There we go. And uh, we'll run this line down there. Like that. And you're going to be the same way over here. Like that. And then we'll put the stockpiles up here, I think. Probably, uh, probably work out. And you're going to go like that. Very good. And over here, we'll do something quite similar, but we'll connect up with this stockpile, I suppose. And you're going to need a stockpile, but you have one there. And then this doesn't need one. So we actually have a spare uh, resource importer, which is real handy. Um, so you are going to go like that, and then there, and there. And then just run all along there and um, cross over. Here, I guess, Something like that, and then up along through all of that. So it's going to take a little while for all those resources to get in there. And then you need routes as well, so you'll go straight down there, and you'll go straight down there, and uh, cross over. Well, I, it's not quite what I want to do. I don't want to build it on any of those, to be honest. I can't get out of building it at this point. So I guess we're going to build it like that, huh? Um, resource conveyor like that, and then you'll go like that too. Great, and I need to connect you up with this one, I guess, like that. All right, so insufficient resources for you. So let's go ahead and throw that conveyor back in over here, and uh, we can see what happens as these cars start to make their way through. Um, so we have insufficient resources, that's fine. You guys will all get caught up. All right, let's turn you back on, uh, except you're not going to have valves, motors, and flywheels. You're going to have brakes, uh, tires. Another research project complete. Powered seats, sure. Just stick with those accessories. And um, wheel is going to be the last one. There we are. Let me do 12 of each. 12 of each. There we go. And up here, we'll go ahead and set a stockpile for engine parts. And we'll just set you right there. No, actually, you know what? Let's do it there. And set you up. Of course, the main thing is always valves up here. That's the other thing that everything else is pretty much just one and done, right? One starter motor, one flywheel. It's just the valves that we need a bunch of, so let's set up a bunch of valves in there. And hopefully that will uh, ex expedite the uh, flow of goods as cars start making their way through here. And let's see, so um, something else we can do is get these set up for the upgrades. We have faster drying upgrades available. No, I don't really need to see the car. And we might have a little overkill on our uh, on our setup here, but it's going to take... Okay, it's so weird. Why, is, why didn't it send somebody into this one that's open? Maybe I shouldn't have the brake directly in front of the. Uh, like I bet you this. I bet you this setup is going to be a more effective setup. Luckily, um, it won't be too hard to remedy that if we need to. All right. Well, it looks like our timer is about to go off, but I'm going to stop it. I say I'm going to. Stop it. There we go. And uh, we will go until one of these cars makes it out the door. Um, you know, one thing we haven't done yet is uh, set up... We have all these new accessories, and uh, we don't have the... Uh, shit. Um, I don't have any of these set up in our production line. So it's windows, 
So this is probably, so that's fit windscreen, fit windows, headlights, steering wheel. So fit windows probably way back here, huh? That's going to give us a weird, um, uh, like we're going to have these models in the middle that are going to be a whole different setup than, than the, uh, ones at the end. Uh, powered steering wheel. There we go. Power steering. I guess that requires an additional resource, huh? Servo. Cool. Tom Servo? Um, nothing special for that one, right? Extra robots and all, but... Uh, okay, so we have... Windows. So we need to go to windscreen. Headlights, windscreen and headlights. And that's it for the special stuff. All right, so windscreen, there's lights. Automatic headlights. And automatic headlights. And then windscreen. Windshield wipers. And windshield wipers, cool. All right, get that running again here. And uh, so now we've got all these servos being requested, so that's kind of unfortunate, I think, with our insufficient resources. Oh, wait, no, what are you bringing in there? Oh, okay, yeah, that's a servo. Looked like a, um, it's probably just placeholder graphics, gotta say, that looked like uh, a chassis part, whatever the uh, axles, it looked like axles. So still no cars using this middle dry undercoat one. We are, you know, like there's no no slowdown on our cars getting through. So I guess it doesn't really matter. Insufficient resources up there, huh? Oh, and it's the uh, pistons, of course, or the valves. Always the valves with those insufficient resources. Like it's not. Why isn't it bringing any over to this one? I, maybe it was, but it seems like it should be able to just start picking them up from uh, from that line there. All right, uh, boy, this is only our second car, isn't it? Well, this one's not even going to last because it has, it doesn't have the, um, it doesn't have the uh, power windows. So since this is just a temporary one, I don't really need to worry about too much of its name. Let's give it a, uh, we'll name it after the famous uh, animal in, um, the, the famous exploding animal in uh, Factor or Factorio, uh, RimWorld. That's going to be the Boomalope, the vanilla Boomalope. Very temporary model car. We're not going to sell too many of them. Let's put, let's go ahead and put a nice, uh, a nice, uh, premium on that and we're going to throw down another power plant and then we're going to go ahead and call this an episode uh i hope you've enjoyed watching uh it's uh it's pretty fun doing that redesign i enjoyed it anyways um i hope it wasn't too boring for you guys um it'll be more exciting when we get more cars going through it is i don't know if frustrating is the right word but it's strange that cars are getting slowed down going through this one it's, and it's oh, it's always the valves do I need to have two two valve stockpiles? But this one doesn't even get full. Maybe I need to run a uh, resource conveyor over from here to there. All right. Anyways, uh, if you've enjoyed watching, you should click the like button. Uh, chat with me down in the common area. I like to talk about things. And uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.